Jakarta, Indonesia. This is the next chapter in the Southeast Asian tour. Our biggest uh, international tour has begun. We're very excited to get this tour going. We have uh, like seven events right away, like one after the other coming up in the, over the next few days. Starting here. Starting here. Let's go. We're about to have an interview with High End Team Magazine. They already did a, a feature about Wong Fu. Well, not Wong Fu, just West. I, I didn't know. I didn't know. I just <laughs> West. Apparently, I'm under Hottie of the Month. Hottie of the... Hottie of the Month. You I'm right what? next to 2 p.m. Yeah, that's true. You know what? They're saving my feature for Hottie of the Year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. That's why. Let's get some facts about West. You can move your ears simultaneously and individually. Uh, I can't do it under pressure. <laughs> It's your, your first Indonesian. I know, I, I'm, I'm honored. <laughs> Traditional Indonesian. It's Balinese. 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 Yes. Balinese for just for the guys to wear. <laughs> so, yes, um, we're missing. Oh my gosh! We didn't tell Ted about this! He's still in the suitcase. Oh shit! So we're about to do the meet and greet at uh, Jakarta. We just finished our event in the theater. So now I get to meet everyone. Oh my god! McDonald's in Indonesia, they have chicken and rice with eggs. <laughs> this is rice. This is a ball of rice. And then it comes with a soup. McDonald's. <laughs> this is my Indonesian McDonald's experience. <laughs> Alright, we, we are not sponsored by McDonald's. <laughs> I've had like Bulgogi burger in the McDonald's in Korea. I had McDonald's in Malaysia, France, and Japan. This is fried chicken. Well, Wes, we're getting ready to board the plane soon. We're gonna grab a snack. What do you What do you want to eat right now? A little or, parched. A little thirsty. What do you want to drink? A little parched. Um, I'm looking at the menu. I want juice. Some yeah. Kind of juice. Um, fruit juice, preferably. Yeah. Not like fresh though. Not fresh. Not fresh juice. But then, but then, what are you gonna get? If it's like not like totally fresh, but you know, like kind of fresh. Fruit. Kind of fresh. Kind of fresh juice. juice. Sure. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know, but. What, you know, what, what are the, I never heard, do you think they'll have it on the menu though? Yeah, they, they, got, they got it? Yeah, kind of fresh juice. Kind of fresh juice. <laughs> like it's not totally there, it's like... And it's not like, it's not like old. No, 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 it's not there, I mean it's fresh. But like, just not totally. No, it's kind of, kind of fresh. Which is what I, exactly what I want, I love this place. <laughs> Alright, at the Jakarta airport, less than 24 hours in Indonesia. And we gotta go back to Singapore for our next event. Thank you very much, Jakarta. We had a lot of fun. We stuffed our faces in the last second and uh, got to meet a lot of you guys. Thank you. We wish we could stay longer. This is kind of sad because we came for the event and then we had to leave like right after. Yeah, not even a whole day. But uh, one down and six more to go. So we'll see you later. All right, so we are in uh, Singapore now. And it is a very nice city. We got in last night uh, from Jakarta. We had uh, a few things to do this morning, but now we are going to go eat. Two hours free to go walk around. Clean. All the rumors are very true. You dare me to spit? No. Not because I care that you're going to get in trouble, but why would you do that to a nice place? Like Our first event in Singapore. Oh, which is uh, sorry, pretty buildings behind you. Yeah. The city is so pretty. The arch so much architecture and art and cleanliness and beautifulness. Wow, look at that. That's really lame. <laughs> this is like a, one of those like motivational speaking conventions. Yes, you can. Trade show for um, air conditioning. So you know, other units they don't really provide as much cooling as we do, but we have full coverage around 
Can I see a packet, please? I, I mean, I, I need to see a pamphlet of. Here's our PMED packet. You can always tell the the grandeur and quality of a place is by their air conditioning. So walking down this corridor, it's like, oh, it's, it feels pretty cool. But then you you walk by this, and you get a sudden like high quality AC. This is where we're having our uh, symposium today. Oh my gosh, fans. We're leading this talk apparently. What? Uh, some Wong Fu Productions. Yeah, Wong Fu Productions. We're Wong Fu Space Productions. But so event number two of our tour is done. We finished one of two events in Singapore, and uh, we're relaxing afterwards. Now we're we're uh, where are we? We're at Marina Basin, and basically Singapore, I think, is one of the most beautiful cities I've ever been to. Look at it. Look at this. Look at that. This is an art science museum. It's shaped like a lotus. That is a hotel. It's three buildings and then on top there's this like huge park slash pool slash just it looks like a big boat that they are parked. Uh, we're at Buttons Bay. Exactly. I mean Sate. Sate. Hello. Hi. It is our second day in Singapore. And uh, we beautiful have a day. very beautiful, kind of hot, um, but we have a very special treat today. We actually have a crew that's helping us shoot this part of the tour video. Best Wong Fu weekends ever. Best part of our no. tourist videos or Wong Fu tour videos. But basically, um, the Chinatown Business Association, they were really nice. They invited us to come down, check out their like Chinatown, and they're helping us shoot. And we're going to go explore their Chinatown. Yeah. Okay. So Singapore has like Singaporeans and Malaysians and Indians and Chinese people. It's like a, a mix of uh, different cultures. We should probably start at this. This is probably like you know like it's probably the most important because you, as you walk in, this is the first thing. You it's see. also the biggest font, therefore it's the most important. New Cheshu. What should it be? Just say it. New Cheshu. New Cheshu. I can't tell if it's new or clean or both. This is this is definitely the cleanest Chinatown in the world. We've been to Chinatown in LA, New York, Seattle, everywhere in the United States, and this is definitely the cleanest one. In case you're confused, they label themselves very clearly. T. In case you didn't know, we're the year of the, the rat. So, I'm gonna try to look for that one. Pig. Snake, and we're left out. <laughs> Dude, I swear I have a bowl that's this exact same like style back at home. This is for a very small, small person. You look like a giant right now. <laughs> hey, they have our names. They have Phil. So how do you say that? How do you say? Yeah. Fei Ni. This side is all the radio control stuff, and then on this side, our hair clips. Is this true? Dancing without a license, five thousand dollar fine. Let's try it. This is gonna be bad. I'm just kidding. Oh my! Dude, don't tell. Don't tell. That's not allowed. This is a brush. All you are painters out there, with your little dinky little, this is a brush. Instead of a stamp, we should sign all of our Wong Fu documents with this. <laughs> at the meet and greet, we'll start using this. <laughs> so at the meet and greet, I was like, can I have an autograph? Yeah, sure. Where do you want it? <laughs> so, uh, final thoughts. Final thoughts. Final thoughts is uh, this is probably the nicest, cleanest Chinatown we've ever seen in the world. Not just for Chinatown. Not just, just it's the clean. cities. In I know we keep saying it, and it's like a stereotype of Singapore, but it's very true. This is like really nice. Um, but yeah, we just wanted to say thanks again to the Chinatown uh, Business Association for bringing us out here and giving this cool tour. You can check out more Chinatown on their uh, gushcloud.com website. And also to breathe.sg slash live it up for uh, supporting Wong Fu. They have this uh, tobacco free movement going on. All the links are below, so check it out if you support it, tweet about it. Um, we had a lot of fun, man. Yeah, now it's time to eat because yes. that's what Chinatown is really about. And that's Food. what traveling is about. Yes. Let's get we're not, stuff. We're not going to bring you for that one because it's going to get messy. But still clean. <laughs> it's still clean. See ya. Singapore event 
And we're really, this is this is it. Oh, we're expecting how many is that? We're, we're expecting uh, eight people. Eight people. So we flew uh, 14 hours yes. um, so that we can entertain eight people. Eight people. It's gonna that, be a great show. That are no shows right now. Yeah, we're hoping that they're gonna show up. In the meantime, my international McDonald's tour continues. Now Singapore. Look at this. It's a teppanyaki chicken McGrill burger. They don't have that. They put a different sauce on it. They don't have that in the USA. Oh, it looks better too. Look at that. It's very, it's like nicely made. What's got? Yeah, filet of fish, right? No, wasabi filet of fish. Are you guys just gonna watch me eat? <laughs> They're like waiting to bring over like the. This is the show that they came to watch. Um, Stop talking and eat it. Okay. Wow. That exactly. Sad that you're more excited about this than the chicken rice. Very good. I have a special place in my heart for McDonald's. Well. Yeah, it's called clogged arteries. All right, you try special place in your heart. I also like enjoy the different flavors of McDonald's. I probably not as much as Phil, but um, this one had a little bit of a spillage. I'm guessing that's the wasabi. Tastes like horseradish. No, tastes like wasabi filet of fish. Mmm. Bun is stuck to the top of my mouth. <laughs> Well, now we're ready for our show. Woo! Are you guys ready? Oh, they're still not here. Oh. oh. Event number three. 800 people out there in Singapore. Oh, they're starting. They're starting. They're starting. They're starting. Woo! You guys look. Let's try to get this. Yeah. 